I hated to see you in that car or to know you was uh, anybody that Dwayne knew was in that car. It was an emotional day in court for the family of Dwayne Lee Collins Jr. The man killed just minutes after being released from the Dane County Jail last year. This morning, the two men who admitted to shooting him were sentenced. Our Braden Ross was in that courtroom this morning when his family got the chance to speak to the men directly. Braden? Charlotte and Eric, the family says they don't know the man who pulled the trigger, but feel betrayed by the man who drove the getaway car, saying he was like a member of their family. Friday morning, life sentences handed out to the two men charged with the March 2022 shooting death of 32-year-old Dwayne Lee Collins Jr. This was a pre-planned execution of someone who they knew by nature of the building he was walking out of couldn't be armed and couldn't defend himself. 20-year-old Damone Cummins admitted to shooting Collins Jr. multiple times as he left the Dane County Jail on the afternoon of March 30th, 2022. He then got into a getaway car driven by 26-year-old Eamon Geltney. The two led police on a high-speed chase through Madison before eventually being arrested. Collins Jr.'s mom was waiting in a car to pick him up and saw the whole incident unfold in front of her. I'm not the same anymore, and I'll never be the same again. She was one of several family members who spoke in court Friday, first to Cummins, who they said they don't know and suspect was hired to kill their loved one. I feel bad for you because you were sent to do something at very stupid at a young age, and you wasted your life for something that didn't need to be done. But it was the driver, Eamon Galtney, who they say hurt them the most. My family gave you a safe place when you didn't have one, and you turned around and helped execute one of us. You stayed nights at our house. It wasn't nothing that you kids asked me for that I, if I had, I wouldn't give it to you. To know you was in that car, it, 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 it took some from me. The shooting is thought to have been just one in a series between rival gangs in Madison and Chicago. Violence Collins Jr.'s father says has to stop. If he have kids, I pray that he will have his kids to have some type of forgiveness in their heart to where they don't have the same re retaliation. No, because it has to stop. Both Cummins and Galtney will be eligible to apply for extended supervision when they turn 65 years old. Prosecutors say the investigation into others who may have been involved in the killing is still ongoing.